of the cancellation of our use of ferry boats, it was a little bit longer than usual, but I hope that you are today more restful uh, after a good night of sleep and you're feeling um, okay to cope with uh, the first, let's say, full day in Morocco. Uh, first full day in Morocco. Uh, we are starting with the city tour of Rabat. Hey, Huya. Huya is my brother. You know, it's a very common way to address a friend is Huya, yeah, my brother. Huya. Uh, Huya. 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 And uh, this morning I have to introduce you to our local guide. Uh, he is going to show us around the highlights of this beautiful city. Rabat is our Rabati. No, it's not a rabbit. Remember, it's our Rabati. Uh, Brahim. Brahim. Let's clap our hands for him, please. Brahim. To all of you. So um, today we'll start our tour of the city of Rabat at the Kasbah of Lude, which is an old 12th century um, uh, stronghold uh, that is built on the highest point of the city of Rabat. After that, you will transition to the Royal Palace of Rabat, which is the official administrative residence of the kings of Morocco. Mm -hmm. We will not be going into the Royal Villa, which is currently see it from the outside in, in what we call the Mishwar, which is just an empty place or a plaza in front of the main Royal Villa. And after that, you will conclude our visit with a tour of the Muhammad VI Mausoleum, which is one of the best instances of modern Moroccan architecture and and adjacent to it, we have the sand tower, which is a 12th century fortification. Okay, so 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 on our way to the Kasbah, you can guys see that Rabat is a um, very all of these uh, you know plants and grass um, alive. Here to our right, we can see the Burgreg uh, River. It's the eighth biggest river in Morocco, around 240 kilometers, and it comes all the way from the Mid Atlas Mountains and pours into the Atlantic Ocean. So the first 25 kilometers is salty, then it gets brackish, after that it gets fresh. And the fresh part of it is used um, uh, for potable water as well as uh, irrigation. And everything that we can see on the other bank of the river, that's a different city. It's called Saleh. Yeah, Saleh. And uh, Saleh is almost as old as the city of Rabat. And here, on our left, we can see the old ones, uh, expensive textiles like silk. But uh, what make made a uh, millah more, um, uh, you know, distinguished or different is the fact that all types of production, selling, and distribution of alcoholic beverages was only issued to Moroccan Jews, and the selling of that uh, that commodity was required to be done in a non-Muslim uh, majority uh, area. But all of their clients were, of course, Muslims, right? And uh, when I say a Jewish quarter, uh, it's just the majority of people that lived there were Jews. Still, Muslims lived there in the same way Jews lived uh, in Muslim quarters. And uh, so this monument or this building that we see in front of us is the Kasbah of Ludeo, right? Uh, a Kasbah is an Arabic word that means three things depending on the context in which it is utilized. So Kasbah, uh, which is the right pronunciation, means bamboo tree, okay? It can also mean um, a fishing rod or a fishing stick, but in the old military jargon, uh, uh, but in the old military jargon, a kasbah means an old military fortification that is built from rock and stone, as you can see, you know, the building materials over here. And um, so uh, we will, uh, you know, uh, disembark here to continue our tour or to start our tour of the kasbah of Mideo, okay? <laughs>